Hey guys, thanks for watching another movie review here at Cinematics. I'm your host, Jordan Ross, and today I'm reviewing Molly's Game. Aaron Sorkin's long overdue directorial debut follows the true story of the 26-year-old former Olympic skier who went on to run one of the most exclusive poker clubs in the world and ended up as an FBI target. Interestingly, this is the second biopic to come out this year about a Winter Olympic athlete turned criminal. The other one was I, Tonya, which featured a captivating performance by Margot Robbie. And the lead of Molly's Game is no slouch either. Jessica Chastain has been one of my favorite actresses ever since since I first saw her in Take Shelter. She truly is one of the greats of our generation, and she gives one of her best performances in this movie. It actually kind of reminded me of her performance in the underrated Miss Sloane. I really like the characters that Chastain has picked over the years. There are a lot of female characters in film that are just the love interest or the damsel in distress. They're shallowly written and they're not authentic representations of actual women. Chastain, however, has made a point to play strong, ambitious, complex, and independent characters, which is much more in line with women in real life. And as one of Hollywood's biggest advocates for gender equality, it's no surprise that these are the roles that Jessica Chastain plays. Place. Tell me why! Because it's all I have left! Because it's my name! One issue I did have with this movie was the lack of exploration and development between Molly and her personal relationships. Sorkin's signature witty, fast-paced dialogue was on full display, and it definitely holds your attention, but it was hard to deeply care about any of the characters other than Chastain and her lawyer, played by the great Idris Elba, who, by the way, also gives a really strong performance. Other actors in the film do some fine work too, including Jeremy Strong, Kevin Costner, and Bill Camp, but they all lacked depth. Intense poker standoffs and excessive voiceovers were given priority over their relationships with the film's protagonist. I really would have liked to explore Molly's relationship with Michael Sarah's character in particular. He wasn't playing his typical awkward self. In fact, the character he was playing was a famous actor based on Tobey Maguire, who in real life was one of Bloom's regular poker players, along with Leonardo DiCaprio and Ben Affleck. Also, I enjoyed watching Graham Greene play the judge overseeing Molly's trial. He's such a great actor and gave an incredible performance in Wind River earlier this year. It's really cool to see Native Americans represented in cinema because it doesn't happen often. Overall, Molly's Game is a solid start for Sorkin as a director. It has a lot missing from it, but Sorkin's sharp dialogue and Chastain's powerhouse performance will keep you thoroughly entertained. You don't want to break the law when you're breaking the law. Am I breaking the law? Not really. We're able to find out for sure. Aren't we? Laws are written down. So, I give Molly's Game 7 out of 10 stars. Anyway, what did you think of Molly's Game? What did you think of my review? Let me know in the comment section. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media accounts, which you can find in the description section below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross.